do I look upside down or sideways in the frame? Or me, or me look alright? Camera good? Alright, cool. Camera good. Turn my camera. Alright, hold on. Let me turn my camera. That better. Grand Rising. Big up yourself, Eric One Wash out of Kenya. You're a good youth. I would not talk about gay. <laughs> yeah, you know. I want to say really and truly give thanks to everyone checking in because I know that you are live and living people. You're not algorithms, you're not AIs, but you're really live, breathing people. So I thank you very much for tuning in because you know when I turn on my phone and I kill this, this middle pan, I really got business, you know. We don't need to prove that to no one anymore or try to convince anyone anymore. We just a plan to keep it as real as we can. And that is lending with voice to the voiceless. Now this morning, I share my Sabbath with the item. Because um, I'm here on a meditation and it would be remiss of me not to turn my phone on and to say what's inside, you know, as the upload, as I call it. So, the item of just bear with me as me flow through. And there's a lot to talk about where, you know, the beast is dead, man. We kill the beast, man. <laughs> yeah, we kill the beast, we kill the beast. Because when all is said and done, they never wanted voices like ours to be around. Big up Alaska. See, they never wanted voices like us to be around at a time like this. Because when all is said and done, there is a nation of people that all of this discussion affects. And that nation of people is the black race, you know. We, we don't have nobody. We don't have no one to trash out our thing and to put context to our thing. Big up IG underscore zero one from South Africa. Big up South Africa. Big up all the African countries that love Queen Africa. All those in the diaspora. Everyone in the diaspora that love them some Queen Africa. Big up Kenya, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, democracy and Babylon system dead. They are trying very hard to fight for democracy. And this is why I turned my phone on this morning. Because, as we said, Jamaica would play the biggest role in any new democracy that the world would want to establish. This island, Jamaica, would have to play the biggest role where any of that is concerned and we are now seeing it being played out in front of our faces in the most decoy disrespectful outer order kind of way and the only way it's been done is the only reason why it's being allowed to be done in that way is because they took away the voices that gave the black race and the Jamaican people pride. I know I don't watch the Bob Marley movie yet, and I'm going to watch it, but I don't have to watch the Bob Marley movie to understand the hypocrisy of it because I know that it would be bigger than the Marley children to protect the legacy of Bob Marley. 
And a lot of that can be talked about even in this morning. But I'm going to break it down as it come out of me. Because you know I'm not filtered. So I have to break it down. And because I'm distracted by stopping to say hi to everybody from France. And you know, Spanish town, my band, you know. Vibes underscore classic. Seeing. So make we start the conversation this way. By using one of the artists, two of the artists topics right now off the rock. And it is the, the two topics that are the two artists topics on the rock right now. And the world by extension is being dealt with in the most nonchalant and disrespectful way. And that is Vibes Cartel and Bob Marley. Reggae and dancehall. As it, at its highest level. Bob Marley and Vibes Cartel is reggae and dancehall at its highest level. The highest level in any music genre. Seen early on up in the years, and I think earlier last year, I said to the item that they were going to use Vibes Cartel for a final Ura. We're never quite sure what the Ura was, but now that we're looking on, we're just hoping that those who are calling for the freedom of Vibes Cartel that they know really and truly why they're calling for it and not again using the love of a mass of people against them because they all know that it is poor mass the poor mass the jamaican poor mass that love vibes cartel and we all know that vibes cartel was used by the system against said poor mass of people the only thing where we that try to tell Vibes Cartel was that he would have to pay attention to how he might angle him personal things because the system will go at any reason to use any weapon against you that them can. And we saw that them use this little murder thing and say murder somebody and rate it and him end up behind bars now fighting theme freedom. Now why am I saying all of this? I am saying all of this because instead of they using him as the, the type of role model then that we need to help at least even with what's happening in the inner city communities with the discharge of the he said Gaza nation who either call it said them father gone to jail and them need the kind of guidance they got cartel take them mind off of gun runnings and make them want the music then or something along that line. Those youths are in eager to see the warlord, the, 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 the world boss come back a road. All of we want to see the world boss come back a road. But the people touting for the world boss to come back a road, are they really touting for the right reasons? Because remember when the, when the world boss was here and was Doing the kind of music then where you know personally Queen Africa was not necessarily in love with all of Vibes Cartel music them. But there's a lot of the music them where me can even the girls want them the two, you know what I mean, the love one them, all of them there are there are many songs that he has done where we can find to say, Yeah man, you know me love the cartel there and we can sync up like them too. That's not the point to be made. The point to be made is that Jamaican people business is being dealt with very carelessly. And, and, and is being used, the, 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 the things that we love and are passionate about are being used against us as a weapon against us, as a weapon of destruction against us. So you drop the appeal right in at the time when you're going to drop your general or your, your local government election. And you gave the impression to all of us that on the 16th, the DJ would be in the streets. That is the impression that a lot of us, the layman, get. But now we're hearing that it's somewhere down summer 
when them work it out. So, when you use him, when you use him as a big distraction, so that you can busy and do what you know do, while we wonder whether or not he might go free. So, you know, say it up and you know, to make sure say him free for true because you know have a lot of people who them angst them them anxiety is through the roof and this the conversation is worldwide as to whether or not the DJ are gonna come a road. Now Moa says something to Isat Bokyanan. Seeing youth your father is big youth seeing and we love big youth. Big youth knows the Queen of Africa. Personally love big youth. See, it? our icon that, our elder that. And it is so admirable for one of our artists in the industry to grow up a son, to have him become a lawyer, to defend another fellow icon in our industry. That's amazing in itself. Like, I can't take nothing away um, from that. But I have an issue with Isaac Buchanan because I think he's not as real as he's making out himself to be where associating himself with the struggle of Jamaican people is concerned. Why am I saying this? All right, let me be specific. I respect his eloquence and his ability to defend in law what he did for the dj but at the same time i am listening to what he represents outside of that when i watch him live them like like for, yeah, let's say for example let's use for example a thing that he uses very frequently is love for kfc no, I am not going to use locks to define anyone as Rasta. Let me get that out the way quick and fast. I am bringing up that to say we are bringing up a, f a food, a particular food that is, is responsible for the high influx of diabetes that we have here in the country. Them kind of food eh, is one of the main factors as to why we have the high levels of diabetes and, and non-communicable diseases where we have down here. And every time that you get the opportunity, all you talk about is how much you love KFC, you miss KFC. All of you people, I notice your link up with Andre Stevens and I notice your link up with Radigan, uh, Ratigan, and I love the link up. But I am worried about the link up because at the end of the day, I am not hearing enough about the morals of Jamaican people, the culture of Jamaican people. I am hearing uh, the, 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 the real new Jamaica that you guys would really want to establish around here. And you know, all using people like Vibes Cartel who have the people them heart as you know, campaign pieces. To come in. So what I would want to say to Isaac Buchanan is make sure say so you know why you are defend Vibes Cartel and I defend the culture of Jamaica for true. You may I say to your youth, make sure says so not no system plant you for come use our struggles against we all over again because there is such a strong hope of the Jamaican people to see change and difference because remember we know that when we are talking about Jamaican people it's not a broad brush thing it is a difference in who we call Jamaican people and we know that you guys are all maroon offsprings who have the rights to proper education in this island the proper uh, the rights to influence the rights to culture change and all of these kind of different things that you guys have the rights to do. So, Isaac, we would want to know that you're the real deal by you standing up to say, yes, Lego the DJ, the, 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 the law system flawed because even though, even if he did guilty, about whatever I'm saying, did guilty about, you know, angling at the situation, make it, make it, make for him guilt look like joke.
So we all put all of that on the board. But we are saying we don't want no new leaders coming in for Jamaica. We're using the culture and the love of the things that the people love against them anymore. And we don't care if he's big youth son or somebody else what we love very much. Daughter. We want real representatives of the Jamaican people because we are seeing that in the in the form of the JLP party, they have an eloquent leadership team. In the form of the PNP, they are working on their eloquent leadership team. But we see that they all have leaders of their teams and all of these teams are formed to influence and to get the support of you, the Jamaican people, who do not have anyone still as yet talking for you in the true sense of the word, meaning how do we get to these youths who are losing themselves, who don't even know why them love the DJ, who don't even know why them love PNP, why them love labor right, why them follow certain things that they don't necessarily benefit from we are not seeing where a lot of you people who want to come and say on a ruling and leading jamaican people we don't see you know just using the little things them that jamaica people like them like vibes cartel make we use vibes cartel them like um food make we use food but but no one is coming together to unite to really and truly lift Jamaica people out of the deluge that them really in and another thing to note is that the reason why Bob Marley and Vibes Cartel thing are fair trash out on social media is because it was designed to go that way it was designed for us to not have proper leadership as Jamaican people leadership that really matters leadership that is really gearing towards showing young women what self-value really mean and not to value themselves just from them vagina or just from being a better side chick or better wife or better whatever the system design your your your, your outcome to look seeing we're tired of all of these people that is coming and saying that they're coming to lead Jamaicans and that they love Jamaicans and they are the answer for Jamaicans. And when Jamaicans get emotional and give them the love and give them the support, they all turn against the people who it matter to the most and then have the people just serving them, becoming robots. Jamaican people have become robots. If you notice what they did to the authentic set of people, the people that really truly are sovereign to this land they took them away from the land they drove them out in covid when covid come they drove out jamaican people they gave jamaican people the vaccine they did all of what they did and now they are the ones who have the grounds down here and is pushing towards pushing back against people like us who know the true Jamaica, who know the real Jamaicans, who fight for the real Jamaicans. They don't want us to be a part of the conversation anymore because they want to sell a new Jamaica to the world. And they are using these eloquent new slave master offsprings to be the leaders of the game now. Seeing, and this is why I have to call Isaac name to say, Isaac, me not trust your youth. Me not trust you for say, when all of this is over, I feel like you guys have this undercover support for some other agendas about you. But when you realize, say, you don't have to use the struggle of the Jamaican people as on a footmat, as, as on a come in, as what on a use for come in with. We're asking for the unity of the of all maroon communities, all stakeholders, seeing so that Jamaican people can once and for all get the justice and the benefit from what true development really mean. But no one is paying attention to that. All they are all doing is uniting to turn Jamaican people into slaves and calling it jobs and all of these other things. Sending them off on work work programs overseas and not and, and, and having people treating them like slaves for the first time. Seeing 
and 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 we and we saying that we are here and we understand the dynamics of Jamaica for true and we know the many different tribes that are set up down here for true and we know that so there is not a lot of true authentic Jamaican people that are left. No, we are almost like an extinct race of people. I am talking about patois speaking Jamaican people. I'm not talking about those brothers and sisters who came across on the transatlantic slave trade. I'm not talking about those Jamaicans. I'm not talking about Jamaicans who came here from Ireland. I'm not talking about Jamaicans who came here from England. I'm not talking about Jamaicans who came here from Africa. I'm not talking about Afri Jamaicans who came here from Spain. I am talking about Jamaicans who came here from God. I am talking about Jamaicans who everyone came here and saw living here on this island. The true democracy, the true colony of black people that was sovereign here, that uno scatter out and don't want to give account for. Where are the true Jamaicans? We, what did you guys do to them? You think I don't know why you guys isolate Queen Africa? You think I don't know why you guys isolate Queen Africa out of the space and trying to make it look like I am the only troublemaker that ever arrived in the space of Jamaican music? Bob Marley died for the set of Jamaican people that I am asking for. The set of Jamaican people that Ziggy Marley was not allowed to put in the movie to make the movie authentically Jamaican. Those Jamaican people are the people that you all are trying to leave behind or try to leave our culture behind. The memories of everything that our ancestors went through. You guys are doing everything to try to leave it behind. Because you all want to continue to rule what is left of the Jamaican democracy. You turn Jamaican culture into a business. You turn Jamaican culture into a business and turn Jamaican people, authentic Jamaican people into slaves. And drive out those who were closest to, re to the resistance. You drove them out. You tired them down. And you bought out the leaders of the resistance in the form of our great artists and musicians. You guys bought them out. So that they were not allowed to speak on behalf of those people anymore. So that you could have full access to all of those people that you could rule them, control them, and turn them into the slaves that they were supposed to be. But it is not ordained by the Almighty Creator. And I am sitting here right now in this moment sharing this with you guys to say to everyone here on this island who know the truth about Jamaica. I do not want to be one of them who come on social media to trash out Jamaica people business. Bob Marley business should not be trashing out on social media like that. Jamaica people business should not be trashing out on social media. It should be on the national grid. But TVJ them and CVM them and all of these leaders in media have turned their backs against Defending the culture of Jamaican people to satisfy the new world order and the new change makers who have decided that Jamaica will have to be a part of the change that they are creating and they will have to be a part of the change on their terms. Now, Jamaican people, if the people, the masses do not stand together in a unity that represents God Almighty to say to the powers that be that yes, we want change, we want development, we want cartel to come a road, we want all of these great things that makes us happy. But can we also have someone promise us 
that our youths will be better off for all of it. Our country will be better off for all of it. Our culture will be better off for all of it. Our young people, this little daughter, my daughter that you see flashing and saying hi, she been flashing <coughs> Gaza, hi baby, she been flashing Gaza signs. Um, since she was about world, like, I, I have to tell the world because they think I talk these things because I don't love Vibes Cartel. Tell them that you are an ardent Vibes Cartel. Fully Gaza. Fully Gaza. <laughs> My daughter is fully Gaza. Fully At the Gaza. end of the day. We want world boss to come free and tell my 23 year old daughter say she not have to be no whore, she not have to, and a man not have to make sure she suck no hood. Yeah. She not have to be no prostitute. The youth them not have to bust no gun. Right, the youth, want cartel to come a road with that new mindset there. The same thing when me did want Ziggy Marley. Fi do in a the Bob Marley movie. Fi say as much as him wanted it to be about him dad and, and the intimacy of him father and where him father got through. Him father got through where him got through because him did a defend Jamaican people. So don't make Jamaican people feel like it was their fault why the system treat Bob so. It wasn't Jamaican people fault why the system treat Bob Marley so. It was the system realizing that if Bob Marley did really and truly get the opportunity to ban and to mesh with the people where him did choose, Jamaica would be the ultimate example of all examples the world could ever see where democracy is concerned and how doing things democratically and from a place of true diversity is concerned that is that is what we are standing on the shoulder of that is what we no they would love for me to condemn the dj it i would never want to condemn the dj i wanted the dj to stand fully on the side of the people meaning developing your fans minds developing your, 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 your peers' minds, the youths, them in the inner city, becoming entrepreneurs. They started become annoyed with the DJ because the DJ began to become entrepreneurial. He wanted to take it from just being no puppet for no society and he wanted to do his vibes cartel empire setting up his empire which was right for him to do we are talking about how the system distract you from your true purpose and if you not stand up in the truth of what it mean if when vibes cartel come a road it will be a second chance from god not from some white men in england who sat around a table it would be a second chance from god and i would think that because his talent that he has that we love him so much for would come from the said god that he would give back everything to god when him come a road he would look out for the rest of youths, them were not dead out in the zoos of them and just lost them way because no one was there for them. It happened in Rasta when, when, when there was no Rasta for the youths, them to look on to as an example. A lot of youth did have to go trim off them locks and turn back to the system. We are saying that we need to be better leaders of society in whatever capacity we find ourselves, whether in a music, in a politics, in a religion, in a just social life as people. We have to stop this where we are do and start look furthermore into how we can truly show how we build a nation in a the true sense of the word and not to be like our our prime minister who is going to go on his campaign trail and is going to say like our dj would say like and he would quote a vibes cartel because he know that he was going to allow a privy council something for go through and him could have used that to say oh you mean the prime minister got free up Vibes can't tell me we vote for him and that kind of something. They stop use we struggle against we and use it to help we. You understand me? I say I listening to a lot of the debates around the freedom of the youth and 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 when, and and it has and it's a, it's a lot of emotions happening. We are very emotional because everything that we love, they take it away from us as a people. And so this is why everyone is so emotional about the fact that you keep teasing about letting her go this youth and now we're hearing that all right we're going to wait until summer 
And then when summer come, you know better tell we say, he might go walk when summer come. Because you know, can continue to have this emotional roller coaster with Jamaican people. And you know, no, so we not have, right now, Jamaican people is like a people without a nation, without a, without a, without a, without a country. Because we're scattered all about over the world. We're scattered all about over the world. They are trying to justify, yes, people that are living here on the island can consider themselves to be Jamaicans. And yes, there's a silent majority of us, authentic, real Jamaicans who are original to this island, who still there here and keep a low profile because we don't want to not kill we off by identity. So we day here and I keep we head together and I keep we head down and I watch you know. But we still at the end of the day cannot watch you know kill off the rest of Jamaica and then when you know say the, the, the legacy that they are share and the legacy that they are part of is so vast. Just look for yourself na Jamaican people. They can't do anything without you guys. They can't do anything without Jamaica, but yet still they're making Jamaica people feel there is a particular type of Jamaican woman that they all stand in their necks and they only want them to suck. I mean, my auntie says stop cursing and using swear words, but me can't help myself, Aunt Gloria. <laughs> because all them want Jamaican woman to do a so good, full up taboo, defend promiscuity, value themselves just by them vagina and feel like them worth is just round them vagina alone you understand what me i said jamaican women real real jamaican women value themselves value who them are no matter where them got you in a them life them value themselves them not just see themselves as vagina or something where you can just come me, 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 me just come come suck your dick or you know what i mean like that's that's the only thing or if it just be a side chick or a baby mother or somebody where you just have sex with when you want to have relief. Jamaican women are never, was never, ever just about that. Is uno want Jamaican women to just feel like that is all Jamaican women are value. And that is why you guys treat a queen, Africa. Seeing the way you know, treat me as a woman in this industry who got you all kind of rape all kind of abuse all kind of atrocities but never yet find it or use it as a reason to not talk about the good things of my country and the good people that i looked up to when i needed somewhere to look you're telling me that it is not okay to strengthen that side of our culture the side of our culture that say fight for yourself no matter how rocky the road get no matter how rough it get no matter how big you get you know have to be you know have to behave like you are no god over nobody if vibes cartel never behave like him a god over people in a certain aspects and whole heap of we in the industry buju them and the whole of them sizzler like keep and the whole of them believe like them a god over people you understand? And that's why Jamaica people get left behind because Jamaica people did not look for Uno to defend them. And now Jamaica people no have nobody to defend them because everybody gone quiet and silent. And only a defend the one them we bring down the country and make the country look like we Bob Marley, like we Bob Marley do never mean nothing. And when Marcus Garvey do never mean nothing. And when we ancestors then we fight against. The colonizers, them who do everything for bow with them, them never do nothing. Them never do nothing. It never worth it for stand up and for them shoulder. It never worth it for say, as much as we not have everything together down here as a people, it worth it for investing at the people, investing at the people, mind, investing at the people, culture, investing at what mean best for them. Uno I tell me, say, I'm me, I'm going to be the only one where all of Uno go around and disrespect and not give no show and all I want to do. We are going to be the ones where I'm going to say, Uno I'm going to make it look like, say, are we feel, are Uno feel, man. I uno feel the people of this country. Because Uno say, Uno I'm going to go with the system. When, 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 when Natalie Nita look on Venetia, in the debate and said to her, say, 2016, you de over here, so I said, labor right was the worst thing. And now you stand up over there, so I said, PNP is the worst thing. This is the kind of culture where them grow we up under, divide and rule Jamaican people. They are now, then come with some new people now, if you come continue the trend 
of the divide and rule. We are say unity. We are say bring we back together as the people where we was different in our diversities, but united in our loving with culture and the, and the country where we call home. Make them stop divide and conquer. We know. Bob Marley and Vibes Cartel and the world stage of discussion is reggae and dancehall at its highest level. And all we have is people that talk about she hate cartel and she hate this and she move on. Hear me no man. Me say, we cannot. Yes, free cartel. But also members say there's a thing that is called around cartel name which is murder. Just like how. Me can look for my father and say to my father, say, you raped me, Derek Morgan. We must learn to tell the people them what we love in our life when them wrong too. Yes, free him. Free him because a lot of people out here love him also. But if him wrong, him wrong too. If PNP wrong, PNP wrong. If labor right wrong, labor right wrong. If your mother wrong, then wrong. If your father wrong, then wrong. If you do something and you're wrong, you're wrong. You feel accept your wrong. We feel learn. We accept we wrongs when we are asked for forgiveness. We not different. Jamaica people not different wrongs. We will defend you if you do a wrong. We will defend you if you do a wrong. But we will defend you more if you accept. When you do your wrong and can't say no, say me wrong, I'm error. Why we not talk about accountability for your actions, with personal actions, then where we take in life as well? Eh? If Bujo did come out and say to Jamaican people, say, me know so you see me I do some things and you know the thing go man for us on the road hot and rough and thing and Babylon and nah, give you where we want. But you don't know. We get caught up and I saw you go and you know what I mean? I know we think that. Me ask you know, for forgive me. Everybody come and then wrong and strong. Everybody wrong and strong. We live in a society where it's okay if you wrong and strong. Paul well, Philip Paul well over PNP side. Him, him baby mother and him 10 month old youth dead and him a walk on pan camping trail he never said me can come in front of Jamaica people and say you mean a Jamaica people you know some me baby mother and her youth dead star and really and truly me no know how he go but when all is said and done me I got us load a campaign trail and wait till that, that case ya ease off cause we are say transparency we are say do for you as you do for self we are that we are saying, so I say some go, well, we not see nobody are take no accountability for no wrongs where them do to Jamaican people. Everybody does come with them wrong and strong self and I come make it look like say, oh you mean free work, free cartel car lizard and nobody. Or letting PNP call labor right this way. Who not look to deal with people who are people accountable when they're wrong, man. And oh, you have to learn to do that. Moses learn to do it with yourself first. Hold yourself accountable first. You see me? That is why when we come out, we say to the maroon community, say all of the maroon them will know say, who no did sell out Jamaican people, fool no four parents them on the island yeah. Did sell out Jamaican people to the colonizers. We are say unite because the, the resistance was to say make us unite against the system, not unite with the system against the people. I wanna make up on the mind say Uno I go with the system, all right, fine. But low Jamaica people now no Jamaica people don't uno did make it so. We no make sure so no deprive we are education. The education we no turn round and use back pan we know. And I make it look like we no can come talk evil with eloquence. And get we if we love we see same way because of our art and our common sense. We did have to work out our own with. So we no make sure so we didn't know say Ziggy never had got strong enough to wall out. I really Steve had the strong one. But you don't know, Steve probably don't want to step up on the back of the field front like that. 
Bob Marley tell Steve, say, he must keep the dollar in line. At that Steve, I do. At that um, Ziggy, I do. Ziggy, I keep the dollar in line. But at the end of the day, we have to remember what Bob Marley stood for in his true sense of the word. And you can't make no system manipulate you if you not talk the truth. So while we don't know the truth about Bob's personal life and all the breakdowns, while we don't know if you're a fuck if Vibes Cartel kill Lizard for two, while we don't know if you're a fuck if PNP and Labour right to work against Jamaica people, we have to judge people by them actions. We have to judge people by how them position themselves in the situation. So we are saying, while all of we not perfect, while all of we can't write, all of we not go have all of the answer, all of we have a common responsibility to take resp personal responsibility for the actions. Bob Marley story is worth a better tell than the one that we saw in the movie that is just the truth, whether you love the Marleys or not. The fuck of the matter is you can't talk the real truth about the Bob Marley story because it linked to the Jamaican people who I'm dead for. See? So it better we just go with the love and peace side of him. The love and peace, the, the side of him when they truly really into peace and love and unity amongst us all as a people no matter what your color or your culture may be. Seeing? So now, you don't want to come step on that and trivialize that in a social media like it, is, it wasn't a monument of an example set by this island, Jamaica, this place, Jamaica, this culture, this country, this people. I don't have to watch the movie underscore day one. I don't have to watch the movie. I know the story of my country. Bob Marley was a youth who was born to a black Jamaican woman and a white Englishman. And him choose black poor people, not just black people in general. Him choose black poor people to stand with. And became the enemy of the, of, the, of the oppressors because of that. That is where we attack from for Bob Marley. He became an enemy to the powers that be. Because he dared to stand with the people. And so when they got the opportunity to disconnect him surroundings, because at the end of the day, your surroundings is your greatest weapon when you stand to fight against the system. If your surroundings not with you fully and meaning on board with everything about you, you will crack at the seam. So Bob crack at the seam and them get him. Martin Luther King crack at the seam and them get him. Malcolm X crack at the seam. Marcus Garvey crack at the seam. The whole of them crack at the seam and then get them. But that never did mean that the resistance would die with them. It never means that the resistance would die with them. The resistance would live on. This is going to live on after we pass as well. Because justice must be served on behalf of those who dared to stand up. For what love meant. Tupac. Somebody drop in Tupac name. All those who stand in the name of resistance. Had a voice. And I sat. Their context matters. <laughs> so when I call you young. Brilliant. Son of my great king. I sat. Stand up for what it means. Once and for all. For the freedom of black people and make sure it's not no agenda risk. Have you pan no front line, babes? Steve Biko, drop the name them, man. Strap, drop the name them, no, man. Y'all tell we say, all of that must go down. 
you must just come trash out that on social media and 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 and, and, and don't play what vibes cartel really is to jamaican people and what bob marley really is to jamaican people and that to not come try to tell we say I mean, just want to talk to the people them who uh, get the job now to analyze like like Rick Storm. Rick Storm, I like your platform. But I want to say to Vegas, Mr. Vegas, you have some things where you need to put into context with your personal self, babes. Because you know where you're going to end up, do You're going to end up kill your truth. That truth that you fight for, babes, you're going to end up kill it if you don't put yourself in context, my love. Because we are talking about the struggles with too much emotions. And yes, we have all reasons and rights to be emotional because we don't have no one on the front line or bad for the black struggle. So we have to do it with self, as you rightly said, vehicles, sting, stick and stones. But we now have to control we think different now in terms of the world looking on. There's so, you know why Bob Marley movie sold out at the box office? Is the influence of his fans who are crying still in his heart in their hearts that is the love where jamaica still have out there pay attention to jamaica people is the love where we still have out there ziggy we want to have a little personal conversation with you my son because the lady there where you're married to probably you know she probably have you distracted a little bit from what your father did really mean and what your father did really stand for i mean no it's rough and not the easiest thing to carry on because i struggle with name but you can't leave the people where it matter to the most behind and don't play them. Jamaican, ex American, patwa speaking, Jamaican black people. The ones who never come here upon a slave ship. The ones who never come here upon a slave ship. The ones who never come here upon a slave ship. The ones who never come here upon a slave ship. It is unfair. For the ones who come here upon slave ship, come join with the slave masters against those of us who did try to get to know half of the slave ship, Rasta. It no fear to the struggle. It no fear to the struggle. Uno can't do this to the culture. It wasn't a runover thing. It wasn't an overnight thing. Jamaica, what Jamaica do for the world wasn't an overnight thing for you to come around with it, so. It hurt. It hurt as fuck. If you soon I do this to Jamaica culture. Because you know, so nobody knows if you stand up for the real Jamaica. Will the real Jamaicans please stand up? Will the real Jamaicans please stand up? No one will stand up for the real Jamaicans. We are going to see some new Jamaicans full up the stage show them. And everybody know why I say them are Jamaican. Oh, I'm Jamaican. Oh, I'm Jamaican. Oh, I'm Jamaican. Do you really know what it means to be Jamaican? Do you know what it really means to be Jamaican? It can't be that you couldn't find nobody for act, man. Jamaican is being left behind. Jamaica is being left behind. The real Jamaica is being left behind. The real Jamaica is being left behind. The real Jamaica is being left behind to facilitate the new Jamaica. The new Jamaica that will be led by, put it there so, anything goes. The new Jamaica that will have no representation of what it means to be a true Jamaican, to respect what a Marcus Garvey, what a Nanny, what a Paul Bogle, Sam Sharp, Kojo, what all of our forefathers and foremothers did. That Jamaica is being trampled upon, disrespected, slapped in the face, shoved to the curve. 
And all of these artists that know the truth and know the secret, join them against you Jamaican people while they try to figure out how to get you all on board. This is why I call Isat name and I call Mr. Ratigan now. And Mr. say, Andre Stevens I try to recoup for himself too. But all these people are representing is a new leadership for Jamaican people. Because Jamaican people don't have leadership all now yet. Everybody want to lead Jamaicans on their terms. Nobody now lead Jamaican towards them greater self, them greater outcome as yet. It's not important for Jamaican people feel proud about themselves anymore. It's not important for Jamaican call themselves Talawa. As a matter of fact, you know, do me a beg you know, Jamaican when you say you're Jamaican, promote a new song that we may have when you have Talawa for me. Because of the reason why me I do them titles of them songs there. Them a kill real Jamaica for facilitate new Jamaica. Them a kill real Jamaica for facilitate new Jamaica. And that's why they don't want we. That's why they hate Queen Africa. So because Queen Africa... Is a real Jamaican true and true. No slave me no be. Them never get the end slave. Jamaican black history never began at slavery. Black history never began at slavery. Slavery, black history never began when we began coming and do a slave ship South of Africa or wherever them be care away from. There were free black people who were traversing earth at free will. Jamaica of some of those people that were born directly from God, the 144,000. A God who don't know one we love anymore. A one leadership me have under the Almighty Creator. And that's why me stand up, which part me stand up. But me I tell you, say Jamaican people in the diaspora on a need to start to email the mainstream TV stations, them like the TVJs, them and the CVM, them and tell them, say, on a need to hear more of you know, national issues being discussed on a more substantial level upon them mainstream media day. Them have with business pan social media trash out and a social media Jamaica business to trash out pan a mainstream. A distraction. A distraction them are use with icon them. Vibes Cartel and Bob Marley them are with icon them. A distraction them are use them as. It done gone bad already because I did tell you to me take side with the almighty creator of all things. So whatever my outcome will be, I will be satisfied with that because I did it on behalf of the source we have me here. Life. The source of life. I know the history of my country. The history of my country is exceptional. If that is the correct context to use that word in. All the one L.A. Lewis know a little bit more than him admit to uno about Jamaica. And that's why he want, all of them want to come sign up Maroon Papers. We are going to sign up the Maroon Papers then when we tell we sorry. Tell Jamaica we want a public apology. From the maroon community, all out till they make we build the bonfire and call it drum them and say sorry to we ancestors, we bleed out. That is the true strength of the unity where we are cry for, we non stop cry for.
the maroons that sold us out in the country that is now still benefiting need to come and let us say sorry let us say sorry to the jamaican people and help those now who are left who can't help themselves who the system is about for turning a slave you see me while everybody party and carry on and behave like you know see say one set of jamaica people are dead, dead, dead out and are disappear one set of jamaica people are dead out and are disappear one set of jamaica people are dead out and are disappear and nobody is panicking no one is panicking the, all of them mothers there with them pitney they were dead all of them fathers they were dead they are not panicking because they know who are dying. Them know which part them are drop the zoo so them. Them know who them a target. Nobody don't want to help that set of Jamaican. I am not in the in, of the power alone to do it. It take a collective away. If you come out and use the voice and say leave Jamaica people alone, alone now. Stop now. Stop now. Stop now. Give the people a break for breathe. For understand why is it that they're even being treated this way in the first place. One sector of the society is being treated the most brutal. Me see Andrew again go to St. Thomas and ramp with St. Thomas. After it never worked between you and Richard Curry them round Akompong town. You run gone over St. Thomas and build up road out of St. Thomas under the guise of loving. Most I God, what make you just come step in fully? And make Jamaica people understand where them up against and where about to hit them. Like, we promise me management, we promise the people them were around me, even you, God, me say, me not talk until you say, say something or not say something, because you see what happen every time I hold my mouth. How much time we all continue? See, Bob Marley, you know, they make Bob Marley look like he was just a man who did just love of sex and sex this whole heap of woman. And that, them are boiled down Bob Marley thing to you know, my most I. Where we if you do it, they are now when know why them did a treat him. Where we if you do next, most I God. For the people where you say we if you talk to. What next we if you do for them understand say I feed them back really and truly against the wall and the further and the longer them take for hear you true we is the longer for them justice I go come dear Mosai. Them have the same enemy them are influence them. The same enemy them are feed them. The same enemy them are tell them where fi say. The same enemy I tell them who fi like. I tell them where fi go, when fi go. Who fi worship we and them now listen your voice, Most High God. How do you fix that? And not look like the crazy person who want to come on social media to talk. None of these people have the masses goodwill. At the back of them intention, at the forefront of them intention, is all about what they want you to do for them, not what you want them to do for you. You don't need education to understand that as a people. The same way how you can wrap around a KFC line, wrap it round and wrap it, come back round because someone on TV influence you. It's the same way you can look at yourself and say, if that's something there was somebody influence you to eat, make you have to chop off your foot. Because you get diabetes from it, hypertension, your body and mash up, your brain and mash up, your memory and mash up. And you are going to need somebody to tell you, say, even though I was influenced to do it, it was not the right thing to do. So me I go stop. Somebody have to tell you that a common sense that A politician is going to tell you what he want you to hear. Not what you want to hear from him. A musician, I got to do music and think say so you're going to like it.